couple of months ago, I needed a remote desktop app to see my Linux VPS. I've used the most popular way, which is VNC, and holy, it was just unusable because of this latency. But wait, I've used GeForce Now Cloud Gaming in the past, and there was no latency at all. Why can't I have the same experience with my VPS? Well, turns out I can, I just should use no machine. No Machine is completely free remote desktop software that will fix all of your issues that you had in the past with VNC and RDP. I live in Poland and my remote desktop is in Germany, different country and there is zero lag, it's just instant. But wait, there is more. Flawless clipboard copy and paste between server and client, super fast file transfer via single drag and drop. Are you interested how you can set it up on your machine? Let's do it. For the server, I'm gonna use a Ubuntu instance from Hetzner with 3 vCores and 4GB of RAM. And for client, I will use my own personal computer with Windows. Let's first install No Machine on Ubuntu. You probably don't have a desktop environment, so we need to take care about that first. You can choose whatever you want, but I will use XFC, as it's light on RAM and resources. XFC is not pretty, but it requires less RAM than most popular GNOME. So first, usual apt update and apt upgrade command. Then we can go ahead and install XFC. Next, let's grab link to newest GNOME machine from GNOME machine website. Download this file by using wget command and then install it using dpkh command. Now we should create new user with password for remote desktop, but we can also log in as root, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm only using key-based authentication right now, so I need to create a password, and then it's done. But I need to say that password authentication for root user is a really bad idea in terms of security. Right now we have installed XFCE and no machine server on server. Let's now install no machine client on Windows. Ok, I'm actually not gonna show it because it's simple, next text, next installer and it's done. So let's now open installed no machine on client side. Create a new connection, give it a name and paste your IP. Now connect to it and type your login credentials and you are in. Enjoy the smoothest and best virtual desktop experience you ever had. But remember that we just installed a desktop environment. We don't have desktop apps yet, and you should start with installing some web browser. You can install Firefox via terminal, one simple command and it's done. Now you can browse the internet. So let's do a quick benchmark. How good specifications do you need on server for remote desktop? I opened three tabs in Firefox and you can check how much CPU and how much RAM is being used. I would say that minimum for remote desktop is 2 vCores and 2 GB of RAM. With 3 vCores and 4 GB of RAM, like in this VPS, I have plenty of resources left. Let's also check storage usage. 4.4 GB. Did you expect it to be that small, considering how much Windows requires? Ok, so remember that I logged in as root and that's not considered secure? Well, we can fix that. Hetzner has firewall. Here you can block connection from every IP except your IP. And if your IP will change, well, you can change your IP here also. Now you get superior authentication security paired with flexibility, because there is no risk of locking yourself, like it's possible with firewall installed on your VPS. So yeah, I hope you learned something useful and if you are interested in servers, go ahead and subscribe. That's all for today, have a nice day.